Good morning, everyone. Uh, thanks again to invite me as the guest speaker for especially for uh, Thai uh, culture and Thai uh, uh, policy. On behalf of the new organization, we work as the uh, regulator agency and also policy maker. This is really important for us, you know. Uh, we try to integrate all factors that impact to the uh, water management. Even we have the, now we established just one year already, but we still uh, looking for new technology, new process in order to encourage the policy of the government. Uh, there is a growing recognition of that the BVF nexus must be considered from policy, science, and practice, and interaction amongst water, energy, and food. It won't be optimal to consider only from sector by sector approach. The nexus strength lies in implementing a multi sectoral and multi stakeholder process. The global risk report by the World Economic Forum revealed that the impact and likelihood of water crisis as the main driver for the WEF nexus is pretty high. Interesting is that we may be able to reduce the likelihood of crisis occurrence and its impact. But if we follow business as usual, the impact severity will be high and likelihood is incredibly avoid. You see here, uh, by 2027, the total water demand in Thailand will be increased by 3%. Actually, the larger uh, portion from the demand uh, will, uh, you have, we have to support to agricultural sector. In our master plan, we try to increase the uh, irrigation area by probably by uh, 20% in the future for 20 years. That is consume a lot of water. But at the meantime, for the water demand for domestic use and industrial sector, we rely on reliable water availability that we have to try to looking for both sector to be balanced. We all know that the natural water demand is closely linked to the population growth. Water is also used to generate electricity by using clean energy. You see here, uh, we have economic uh, growth is rely on energy also, as the previous speaker mentioned. Uh, we, are, we have, you know, in Thailand, we have more than 50% uh, uh, of the water availability belong to another agency, uh, such as the uh, ECAN Electric Generating Authority of Thailand. Less than 50% belong to another agency. Therefore, how we are going to balance be between uh, the water for electricity and also the water for agricultural sector. Every year we have to re uh, allocate water for the ecosystem uh, conservation, at least more than 200, uh, 2,000 uh, million cubic meters for the, I mean, the uh, uh, Basin. Furthermore, the GP GDP represents the economic growth and of course water is basic a resource supporting economic growth by means of production input. Basically, the concept of the water management is to allocate sufficient water based on time and space. ONWR works on the basis that water supply must be allocated with consideration to its availability, to serving nation, national demand, conserving ecosystem while promoting economic growth. And this is a very important the trend of the water resource management in Thailand is changing due to many reasons. We have to look for uh, the new, I mean, the process, new, new uh, technology to support the water demand in the future. You see here, the, for example, the number of tourism is increasing from 35 million in 2017 and to be expectation of uh, probably about 40 million in 2018. 19, including health and medical tourists. Therefore, as the policy planner, we have also considered the development of water resource in tourism hotspot in an integrated manner so that there won't be any inequality to consumption and access to water supply between tourism and local community. Another example is the growing of the social media. 
and the government policy to raise awareness and water literacy as an uncontrolled external factor, but climate change must be considered when planning. We may, we may not fix all the negative impact from the climate change, but we can prevent by severity by educating and disseminating precise information to our people. For example, reliable warning and forecasting system. For example, in the last uh, event, we have, we have to face for the flood in the northeast and also in the western part of Thailand and recently in the south of Thailand. So we have to use new technology and we use our I mean, the IT in order to inform our people to know in advance so that we probably you know, avoid a damage, uh, uh, a huge damage for the people in the south of Thailand. Big data seems to be very useful, constructive, and innovative platform to correct analysis and visualize a huge volume of data. The remaining challenge is to interpret those data in the simple way and make everyone understandable. Well, there is a great definition or conceptual framework for the nexus. Generally, the WBF nexus to be choose to take into account the synergies and trade-off arising from the management of the three resource and potential area of conflicts. We all know that the WEF Nexus is closely related to the UN SDG, at least goals number two, zero hunger, and number six, water and sanitation, number seven, affordable and clean energy, and number 13, climate change. So I wouldn't say that a regulator organization or policy maker, we need to understand the connection of those three domains to be sure that the water-based policy is optimally designed for inclusive and sustainable growth. What to address here is that evidence shows the nexus is still largely water sector driven, but the inclusive of other sector is crucial for optimal policy design. So what we have done so far, the National Water Resource Management has been working on the four bases, which are master plan, act, instill, and innovation. And the four pillars are being supported by the fact that all water-related government agencies must closely work together on the fact that water, res water resource is limited. The goals of Thailand water resource management are that no one is left behind. The nation reach stability, prosperity, and sustainability, leading to the, an inclusive and sustainable economic growth. Here, I would like to present some concept about the Thailand for pillar for sustainable water management. The first pillar is 20 years water resource master plan. The first and foremost strategic is the 20 years national strategic. It's strategy number five focus on green growth. Under the national strategy, it's called the second level master plan. There are 23 issues. It's issue number 19 focus on water resource management. It's going to be approved by national strategic uh, committee in this Friday. And we hope that this will be launched for the all ministry will be, you know, support to, to the national strategic plan. So issue number 19 focus on water resource management. It calls for the water security, productivity, and value added, as well as conservation and restoration of national water costs. The third master plan level or the 20 years water resource master plan responsible by ONWR will support the issue number 19, and it has six issues. All those issues must be directly linked with the action plan conducted by implementing agency. The action plans must be monitored and evaluated whether the op output and outcome are achieved. Now, for the 20 years water master plan, we have to uh, uh, set up the clear target with measurable tackle indicators that we have to do it. You know, every organization has to follow the, in, those, the target. 
The slide presents direction for the regional and water resource development. The water de development direction is being carefully planned to be aligned with the regional development plan directed by the Office of the National Economic and Social Development Council. For example, in the EEC, in eastern part of Thailand, we have planned for a development of reliable water resource in form of the water network and alternative source like desalination and wastewater treatment plant and conjunctive use. Therefore, any area that we have like an economic growth with other, another agenda, the water has to be support, you see. So now we have to set up all the uh, target area, you see. Every agency has to be follow and have to be, you know, support those uh, target area. Next pillar is institute. This is very important. It changed the behavior of the Thai uh, organization. Even we have like one or two years now, every organi organization uh, who work related to water, we have almost 40 organizations to work with water. In the past 10 years, it may, not, it may not have any problem. But so far, we have to deal with climate change, we have to deal with land use change, we have to deal with many, many, uh, I mean, uh, uh, participation from the local community. Therefore, 10 ministerial and more than 30 departments have to work together by some mechanism. Now, the Thai government allow us to try to integrate those uh, uh, related agencies to work together. The Na National Council for Peace and Order has established the National Water Resource Committee, chaired by our Prime Minister. ONWR is the Secretariat Office and deal with at least four tasks. Water management, including during water crisis, data and information management, formulation of master plan and implementation plan, and consider, and consider the project related budget. That's why we have to set the goals area and try to prioritize the project. Therefore, the budget has to be allocated by following our, our plan. The involvement and interaction from all adequate stakeholders is important. Trust the River Basin Committee is appointed for effective integrated water resource management. The chairman of the River Basin Committee is elected governor within the basin, and other members from the government sector are appointed from main agency. Some representatives will be selected from local government organization, local community, and also water resource, and also water use. Four advisors will, uh, advisor will also be appointed by NWRC. The regional office of ONWR will serve as secretary office in the future. The third pillar is Water Resource Act. This is very important. Uh, this act will be effective in 20, on 28 this month after we wait for more than tw uh, 20 years. They have a long process until the Water Act was announced in the Loyal Thai government Gazette on 28 December 2018. The launching of the, this Water Resource Act has brought about water reformation in Thailand. It is the first time that the, that the definition of the water resource is being said clearly. Since we have many law related to water, they might have their own definition. Therefore, this law tries to uh, have a clear definition that every uh, organization has to be followed. It's, it, there is four minister, min, ministers who shall have responsibility and control the execution of this act. New approach of water resource management has been addressed, such as water allocation criteria, water use category, river basin identification, river, river river basin planning and waterway plan, which has to match for the city plan. This also includes a rearrangement of the institutional framework and the establishment of the special national command center for the water crisis. River basin is really divided by 25 to 22 basins, according to the, its geography, geopolitics, hydrology, 
culture and demography. The last pillar, the innovation. Why we come here? Because this is very important. Since the establishment in November 2000, 2017, ONWR has already signed the MOU with 14 academic organizations. Example is one map is innovation of water management in nearly real time analytic approach. Therefore, every information has to be put in the same one map. It allows fast, convenient, and prompt access and use of information. It provides more accurate results of analysis by experts from different fields for better decision making. This is an application to monitor plans, projects, and budget of all implementing agencies. The application is being developed for up-to-date and transparency in management. The people anywhere in, in any province can access in order to see how what happened in their area. Sometimes, you know, we quite difficult. We don't know for sure who is going to develop the water resource in their area. Now we are going to open for the people to access uh, what we have, uh, who, we, who, we are, who they are going to do in their area. So in the future, we are going to preparation for the, the BBF Nexus for several decades. Water resource development in Thailand was merely a project-based approach for focusing on large-scale infrastructure. Until recently, the program shifted to an area-based approach with a consideration to green growth, carrying capacity, and network of reservoir. Area-based approach focused on two areas. First, large-scale target area with high severity of water crisis and its economic impacts. Second, the special development area, including special economic zone and tourism hotspots. The concept of area-based is a long-term systematic and facing development to ensure water security by 2027. Under the umbrella of the area-based approach, ONWR is identifying and prioritizing a set of the criteria area. A set of the projects in, the, in that area must be ready to, be, to operate by 2022. Those projects must be already study for uh, the feasibility study and environmental impact if necessary. If the projects are, are already designed with no local objection, they will be put in the very first priority. A quick win is a set of the improvement that will solve the problem and deliver quick uh, service, focusing on flood or drought management or promoting economic growth. For flood management, they are assigned to be sold for 12 critical flooding areas and 12 sub-basins which need urgent intervention from the government and local community. And also we are going to try to integrate all projects together, try to mitigate flood severity, such as the construction of via regulator, regulator reservoir, or any kind of infrastructure, and also the, with the acceptable flood management by different agencies so that the infrastructure can be finished within time. For the drought management, there are more than 7,000 sub-districts throughout the country and more than 500 sub-districts are in critical area with below average income. The communal water system in those rain-fed sub-districts will eventually increase their household income. The conceptual linkage is that all relevant government agencies must work in collaboration to trigger water multiplier effects. For example, many like a, a Department of Water Resource, Lower Irrigation Department, or even uh, cloud, cloud Water Department will develop water resource and distribution system. Then the agriculture extension will provide with knowledge and market the community Water resource management will help strengthening local people capacity for pro prolonged oper oper operation and maintenance and finan financial availability. So challenge for the future, water energy, food nexus is such a big idea and cannot be done 
alone by any single sector. It needs to be co co uh, co cooperate, cooperated co among three domains. We have three big boards, and all are chaired by prime minister. Different are uh, their secretary, where ONWR is the our office, National Water Resource Committee. The Energy Policy and Planning Office is the secretary to NEPC. And the Thai Food and Drug Administration and the National Bureau of Agricultural Community and Food Standards are the co-secretary to NFD. To prepare for the optimal policy regarding water energy food nexus, we need a systematic and well-defined water resource management plan. Our existing MTF is only a tool translating government policy and plan to be uh, in expenditure programs. What we need to is a roadmap for a future improvement. We have to prepare a longer term master plan addressing safety policy based on sound size and overcome uncertain conditions like climate change, land use change, and also the, some uh, like a IT change also. We are also formulating five-year loading plan to be aligned with the 20 years master plan. This is to keep updating progress and reviewing whether the budget is optimally allocated. So this is very really, uh, important issue that ONWR is new organization. We hope that we're looking for the new process, new uh, a technology to help us try to integrate all together. And this is really challenging in the future. We need some cooperation, not just only the, the government agency, but also the local community and also the experts from various countries. Thank you very much.